I'm thinking... <clears throat> I'm thinking, what if we try, like, 135 in preparation, just in case if the DLC, like, is more active at higher level? It's, it's absolutely, like, crazy the way it works. Like, uh, the environment is not going to change, but your character is. But it's going to be interpolated, and you're not even going to notice it. Because of a few things. It's not going to be, like... Uh, in real time, like people expect, like people are like, well, if it goes back in time, like, won't you notice, like, some, you know, some skipping or, like, rubber banding? Well, if it's done poorly, yes, but the I the whole idea of rollback netcode is, like, a bunch of cheat that cheat the system that makes you not realize you went back in time. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy, guys. It's actually insane. It's fascinating, man. It's completely insane. And like, uh, I think it's going to be uh, easier to explain to you what is delay-based, uh, like a delay-based networking or like delay-based uh, typology. Basically, there's like different ways that networking can work in the context of video games. Uh, a big one is peer-to-peer. -peer. Another big one is servers. But there's actually a lot of in-between in that that are very important. Like, for instance, there's two ways, really, that you can have peer-to-peer. -peer. Well, I'm sure there's more than that, but that are relevant to us. There's really two ways. One way is the From Software way, where it's really a true peer-to-peer. -peer. You exchange information with the people you're playing against, and you're sending them the information directly without, like, any buff or nothing. As soon as you input something, you send the information, and it's direct to the player. This, despite people not liking it, is what gives the least amount of latency and the highest responsiveness. The problem is that your, tiny, your timing, let's say for a roll catch, is going to change depending on the connection of the people you're fighting, for instance. So like if you're fighting someone that's far away, you're not going to have the same roll catch timing of, of your uh, uh, than if you were fighting your neighbor. Doesn't seem to be anyone else. Bad trade. I thought it was a projectile. He does not give a shit. <laughs> Insane storm stomp.
be free to use against a lot of things. Bad swamps there. And he does not care. I played bad there, that's my fault. If you look on Reddit right now, and like, you know, Elden Ring had so many new players. Oh, the guy didn't take damage there. Maybe the consensus would have changed because a lot of these players, like... There's a lot of new people that come from, like, Call of Duty and shit. And they're not, like, averse to, like, PvP in any way. It's just that their experience with Elden Ring was, like, the shit fest that was at launch. And so for them, like, anyone with a brain would be like, dude, there's... Like, how can anyone take this PvP seriously? Like, this is such a joke. And it really, honestly, it makes so much sense when you... When you think about it. He almost jumped off again. <laughs> bad, bad. So you can't blame, like... You can't blame, like, the scrub that just was there at launch and left the game for not, like, caring about PvP, because the PvP at, la at launch was a joke. Oh, he should have attacked me. Oh, nice jump, unironically. Nice. Ooh. Little lat there. But yeah, like FromSoft completely botched the, the launch for the PvP. The PvE launch was great though. Like PvE-wise, not many like bugs or like really broken shit or like obnoxious stuff. It was actually pretty good at launch and on the PvE side. And we all know that's that's the only thing they actually care about. Like, we know that. I actually win that. And I don't hit him there. Whatever reason. And that missed because of the elevation. Great game, dude. Dude, a lot of these hits are literally missing, thank you. Because of uh because of the elevation. Like that happened again. All right, let's kill him. Uh, maybe not a great idea. Yeah, maybe not. It's uh, it's a tricky spot, guys. Like, there's not much room to do anything. No, I actually didn't mean to do that. It's not going to be as uh, reliable 
but I say reliable compared to the other stuff. They're still extremely powerful weapons. Out of here. Yo, what's up, Nash? What are we doing? Oh, come on. Insane, dude. Dude, this game sucks. What the fuck? Like, how unreliable are these attacks that are, like, right on target? Like that, like... way too early. Well, we know what his favorite attack is. 